it's time to learn Mr. Blue Sky by Electric Light Orchestra. This song may seem simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. So make sure you're focused, ready to play. You'll be drumming like Star-Lord in no time. Let's go! So when you get into it, you're going to hear, Good morning, today's forecast calls for... Just listen for the piano, okay? You'll hear that play on all four counts, and you're going to count to four three times. That equals 12. Hashtag math. But you don't have to count to 12, because four is less than 12. So, you know, work smart, not hard. Am I right? So, we're going to count. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So the first number is the actual measure number. So then I'm not getting as confused. I don't have to keep track of as many numbers, right? Then I'm gonna come in and play on the toms, right? And bass drum on all downbeats, okay? Just reinforcing what the piano is doing. I'm gonna start kind of soft and I'm gonna get louder, okay? And then in the fourth measure there, so that's three measures of this, and then the fourth measure on the snare drum, I'm playing four triplets, okay? There's lots of different ways to count them. You can count triplet, 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 triplet. You can count one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly, or just say lollipop four times. Lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. It doesn't matter how you get it done. Just try and play it like the recording, okay? I like counting with numbers, one lolly, two lolly, so I know exactly what count I'm on, and it's clear to me. But you know what? You just got to live your life. So let's try it out. Remember, slower tempo first. You have to play it perfectly at the slower tempo before you graduate to the faster one. Play along. Don't just watch. No one got good from watching. Here we go. All right, when we get into the groove, four on the floor on our right foot, right? Boom, boom, boom. Right hand is going to mirror our right foot, okay? And then on counts two and four, our snare drum will play with our right hand, right foot, okay? That's simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. And it's very difficult to keep consistent. So make sure you work on this at a slower tempo before you move on to faster tempos. Make it really solid. Now, we have crash cymbals as well. Just think of this as changing location. So the first measure, I play a crash after the fill. Then I have it in measure seven, measure nine, and measure 13. Now, if you're like, okay, what are measures? Well, go back to my drum set notation video and get a little refresher. But what we're trying to do now, because the groove is simple, we're gonna count measure numbers. So we have 16 measures in this phrase, okay? We have 15 measures of regular groove, and then in the 16th, Instead of playing on hi-hat, I'm actually going to play on a brake drum, right? It's literally from a car, okay? This is used in, like, steel band music. It actually has, like, a Trini flag. Well, it was painted on there. This is lovingly used. Uh, so if you don't have that and you don't do car work in your spare time, you don't want to, like, tear apart your car, your parents' car, uh, I don't recommend that. Use the bell of your ride cymbal, okay? Use whatever you have. You want it to sound metallic. Apparently the recording, it was a fire extinguisher. I tried doing that on one earlier and uh, I have a huge mess to clean up. So make sure you're really thinking about what you're doing. Work on the slow tempos. You got this, come on.
Moving on, more of the same. Okay, we go back to the hi-hat after the brake drum or the ride cymbal. Now we have crashes on, well, obviously first measure to show that we're in a new section. Okay, then we have it at the measure five and also measure 11. Try and think of each measure like a word. Instead of trying to spell out each note, right? Just like if you said my name, Andrew Wu Ten. There you go, that's four syllables, four counts. You're gonna say that 12 times in this section. Okay, you wouldn't spell it out like A-N-D-R-E-W-W-O-O-T-O-N. Oh yeah, Andrew, that's one. A-N-D, because that would take way too much time. So it's the same thing with the music, okay? You want to think about music the same way you think about language. Make it easy on yourself and make people listen to you. So now, make sure the slow tempo works before you move on to the fast one. I know you got this, come on. Okay, this section is where it gets a little dicey because there's space, there's rests that you have to count. So I'm playing on a splash, snare, bass. That's all at the same time. If you don't have a splash, you could use like an open hi-hat. You could choke your, your crash. You could do all kinds of things. Just try and make it short. I'll play on count one, then the next measure count one and count two. Okay, do that three times. Then I'm gonna play crashes on one, count three, and count four for two measures, and then go back to the hits on the splash snare bass. After that, I have one measure of just regular groove like we were playing earlier, and then in the last measure going back into the, the jamming part, I have to play break drum on counts one and two, and then you can play triplets on counts three and four. I kept the break drum for all four counts because that's what's in the recording, and because it's a recording, someone just you know, sat there with a fire extinguisher and went bang, 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 bang. And then they recorded the drum parts, you know, later. And, and the guy actually played the groove and just played the triplets hand to hand. You probably won't be able to play one handed triplets. So just pick one or the other. If I was on a gig, I would not make sure that I played break drum while I'm playing a triplet fill. Okay. So you have to make a decision there. Do what makes you happy. Okay. Just Work on the slow tempos though. Please work on the slow tempos and make sure it's right before you move on. All right guys, you got this.
Okay, so the next section is really just two 12 bar phrases of the same thing, right? Just playing that groove, measure 12, you always play the break drum or bell of the ride, that metal sound, okay? That's really it. We're gonna play it at a medium tempo. If you need to go back and play the slower, make sure that you go back and do that. This is just trying to reinforce what you're playing and getting used to, you know, sitting in that groove, okay? Best of luck. This next section, it's the hits again. You've already worked on this, okay? So we'll just play it at a medium tempo to kind of reinforce what you've already polished. You've already worked on it at a slow tempo so there's no mistakes. Also, now you don't have the triplets or the heavy metal. We're gonna actually go into a ride bell thing for a couple measures next. So on count one to finish, go to the bell of your ride symbol. You got this, best of luck. Next section, we're just gonna play all the downbeats on the bell of our ride cymbal for six measures. So count to four six times. Or say and actually don't don't say my name that many times. That's weird. Once we're done with that, we have those hits again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we have one measure of groove, and we have that, you know, heavy metal on counts one and two, triplets on three and four. Don't try and double up like I did. All right, do as I say, not as I do, uh, because it's probably not gonna be that solid. If it is, good for you, but remember, you have to pick and choose what works for you. You know you got this, though. Best of luck. Next we have two more 12 bar phrases, same thing, same thing we did earlier. So we're gonna play that at a, at a medium tempo just so we can reinforce once again, come on.
Now, we have the hit portion, but it's only going to be half of it. And when you play the crashes, you're going to play your heavy metal with it. Jump, 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 jump. It'll make total sense. It's not as hard as you think. I just put my left hand over to my brake drum. If you're using the bell of your ride, just keep your right hand here and then play crashes with your left. Okay, so you will have to sort out the coordination on whatever your setup is. But other than that, it's really not too tough. Then we're going to play the ride bell for six bars. Then we have our hits for two. Ba, 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 ba. Then we're going to go into an actual swing type feel. Uh, swing played by a rock drummer. So be ready for that. Count one to end it will be on the ride cymbal with a bass drum. You know you got this. Let's go. Next section is a swing section, or it's jazzy, okay? You're playing a jazz feel. This is jazz played by a rock drummer. Please don't murder me, jazz cats. You got kids, let me tell you about jazz cats. You don't mess with jazz cats, okay? You don't mess with them. I fear for my life posting this, okay? It's serious. Just Google jazz cats. Actually, don't, no, no, don't, don't do that. I'm going to play on my right hand on the ride cymbal. I'm going to use the beat of my stick, and I'm going to play halfway between the bell and the edge of the cymbal, or the crest. We're going to play on the bow of the cymbal. All right, if you have riding on yours, you can always use that as a reference. Okay, and I'm going to play really loose. I'm going to use kind of French grip to where my thumb is on top of the stick. I'm just going to bounce the stick, okay? I'm playing dog, walk the dog, walk the dog, walk the dog. There you go. That's a Nathan Sanders thing that I learned. And then I'm gonna play counts two and four on the snare drum, okay? If you're playing real jazz and you just played on two and four, uh, that would be your first and last jazz gig. But that's not what this is, so don't worry about it, okay? Also, there's some comping that he does. Don't worry about that either. If you wanna learn it, good. I'm gonna play it for you. But if not, you could just play two and four on the snare drum for 14 measures and then play a big crash and everybody would still follow you on Instagram because you're playing drums like Star-Lord and that's really what this is all about. Okay, so best of luck to you. Be nice to yourself. Have some fun, I mean, you know.
right, last section. Your eighth notes are now gonna be straight. They did sound like this. Right, bouncy. Now it's straight like this. So it sounds like driving, okay? So four on the floor still. Back beats on snare on two and four. All that stays the same, okay? You're gonna play for 15 measures. There's probably a two, four bar in there, but you know what? 15 measures of four, four, all right? And you're gonna end on count three of that measure. You're gonna slow down at the end. Just play along with me. That's what you do if you're in a real band, right? You would play along with the band. When you play along to the recording, really listen. So once you have all these mechanics down, you wanna try and be musical because the best thing about music is playing with other people. So practice for that eventuality. Ooh, stinky Febreze, my stinky, I don't have a stinky. My Febreze is, I got to order a Star-Lord mask on Amazon for a business purpose, for this. Like, I have an excuse to buy silly costumes now. Like, I'm super stoked. So be nice to yourself, wash your hands, stay safe out there, and best of luck finishing this tune.